Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome, welcome to another edition of Dragon Sports Live. I'm Dante Payne, your host of the evening, as you rock with a exciting show that gives you sports, music, gives you it all. But we're going to give a fair do. We're going to chop it up with some music. So, without further ado, this is Dragon Sports Live. Here on the ones and twos. So, let's get it cracking. This first song that we got coming up here is Obi Wan Music, and it's called Drive, featuring AJ4 and Psy K. So, let's check it out here on Dragon Sports Live. Talk my shit. AJIV. Uh. Might check one, two. Baby, let me tell you what a nigga about to do. I'm about to put the whole thing inside of you. Don't be running it, don't be jumping, cause I'm about to act a fool. Make you wanna tell your crew how I'm nice with it. So good, it should come with a price with it. Ain't no question on tonight if you might get it. Baby, it's a guarantee that I gotta hit it. Uh. Baby, sit back. I'm about to break you off like a Kit Kat. Then the nigga get to licking on the Kit Kat. Pull my tongue back like, damn, I done did that. The only mission is to kill it in every single position. You made a nigga wait, now you see what you been missing. I'ma have you up early making breakfast in the kitchen. That's what's bound to happen when you get a good dick from a nigga like me. You say you want a nigga that I do you rightly. And you chose me, so I see I might be. I gotta get it anytime, not just nightly. I gotta treat you like a queen, not just wifey. I'm stroking your body till it erupts. I'm addicted, I can't get enough. Your legs be shaking when the in them guts. This happens every time that we fall. Down, 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 down. Go, go, go down. Town, 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 town. Hey, let's go another round, 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 round. I'ma lick you in all them places, making sticky faces. You love it, you love it, yeah. Lay it down, lay it down. I put it on you, then I shake down, flex out. The way you want it makes me feel so damn proud. Watch me dive in. Yeah, yeah. Let me dive in your ocean, don't worry, I ain't afraid to drown. Afraid to drown. Baby, let them waters flow as I go down. I'ma take my, take my time, there's no need to rush. Got the ability to turn you on just from my touch. But we already passed that, I got something that's dope for us to do. Already bust it down once. If you need a book for round two Whatever you need from me I got you right now It belongs to you Feel all your fantasies Have your mind going with me Down, 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 down Go, 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 go down Town, 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 town hey. Let's go another round, 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 round I'ma lick you in all them places Making sticky faces You love it, you love it, yeah Love it, yeah. Lay it down, lay it down. I put it on you, this I 
Another edition of Dragon Sports Live. If you just tuning in, 
that last song you just heard was Glory Made Away by Mouthpiece. So check it out. Support all artists that I play here on my show via iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your music. Just make sure you look up that artist. Even SoundCloud. Be sure to look up that artist, though. More important, you can also check this show out in case you missed it. So I hope you ain't miss it. I hope you catch it then. But in case you do miss it, you can always go back and re-listen to it on YouTube at D-O-N-P-E-1, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. So be sure to check it out. Just type in Dragon Sports Live and we'll be there. You did. So without further ado, we're going to hop right into our little baseball spiel. First and foremost, I want to say congratulations to the Braves. They beat the Astros and won 4-2 in that series. It's been 26 years since they won a championship. Now they have one. Their parade is set to be Friday as they parade through Atlanta. But 26 years, they finally got one. And it's because you lost key pieces and you added. You added Duvo, you added Rosario, you added Peterson, you added a couple more people. Those pieces came together and win World Series. So now Peterson has two. Well, wait, did he? Well, either way, y'all edit those pieces. Cool. So congratulations to the Atlanta Braves on winning that. But I felt like it was going to be some drama with the Astros if they won. They would have been like, oh, they cheated. But they didn't cheat that way. They actually worked that way. And it would have been Dusty, Dusty Baker would have finally got a World Series title under his belt, which he hasn't got one yet. So... Either way, I was rooting. But like I said, congratulations to the Braves. First since uh, 1995. Congratulations. Now, the fun begins. The offseason moves, the offseason struggles of who's staying, who's going. So on top of that, you know, Tony La Russa will return in 22 according to sources via ESPN, NBC, Fox Sports, said he will return. Now, he got mixed reviews. Like, I thought they did pretty good this year, but the DUI, the other things that you have done in the past, yeah, I don't know about that one, young man. I don't know. But anyways, we shall see what happens when it comes. As reports come out, I will give you guys more information. I will let you guys know what's going on. Because that's what I do here on Dragon Sports Live. So, as I find out more information, I will let you know. And I just started to sound like uh, the old guy, family guy, the child pedophile, with my voice going out because... This season is actually cha- changing, so it's really messing with me. It's really making me have a runny nose, making me sneeze a lot more, making me have the sniffles. Yeah, don't like when the season change, but, you know, it is what it is. Now, we did have a, a plethora of moves that happened, what, that's starting to happen, like I said, all season. Cincinnati Reds trade veteran catcher Tucker Bonhart to, Detroit, to the Detroit Tigers. So like, like so far we that's one trade. Uh, Freddie Freeman, Car- Carlos Correa are among 160 free agents hidden market. So some of the top hitters. And then we had Yusei Kanuchi. He chooses free agent after Seattle Mariners decline his option. And yeah, that's that's what's going on. Dodgers first base, first baseman Albert Pujols not ready to retire. He plans to play for the Dominican Professional Baseball League this winter, and he did make it. It's basically keeping a promise. He said, "I'm not retiring yet. I'm not ready to retire, but I got a lot of more baseball. But it is a promise that I will, I'm going to play for Dominican Professional Baseball League. So he's doing that, but he, like I said, he's not ready to retire." Which is understandable. You know, I get it. If you ain't ready to retire, you ain't ready. 
then let's get it. Cleveland, who will now be the Cleveland Guardians, still waiting word of what that lawsuit might be and what it would tell and what would happen but they already start removing the cleveland indians logo so starting with the eye of the 80 foot thing they already started to remove the logo from the scoreboard so let's see what they let's see what happens that's all i'm gonna say is let's see what happens and then y'all know the way too early uh rankings you got the dodgers entering People got the Dodgers entering the offseason as favorites to win the 2022 World Series. Ah, uh, I don't know. It depends on moves. Like, if they're not played by injuries, then yeah, I can understand. But if they play by injuries, uh, slim, slim, very slim chance. Slim, very slim. Like, this much slim. So. I'm down to see what happens. Giants Posey plans to retire on Thursday. Who's been in the lead? So Buster Posey, like I said, he plans to announce his retirement from baseball Thursday. He's 34 and played his entire 12-year career with the San Francisco Giants. He helped the team win three World Series titles in 2010, 2012, and 2014. And he was the only player still on the Giants who played all three World Series title winning teams. But the Giants did say they exercised his $22 million club option as long as the veteran catcher wanted to keep playing after a stellar year. So, congrats on his long season. Coming to an end, but you know, all think good things do come to an end eventually. So, with that being said, he's going to announce that Thursday. So, congratulations on that award win season or seasons the three titles that you won with them. Congratulations. <laughs> Uh, Fields declined 22 option on Hiera and McCutcheon. McCutcheon. So, they cut those deals. Like I said, players, it's going to be a lot of players that's going to be free agent. Still share, so we take it one day at a time, one step at a step. As the news come out, I will give you guys that news. Mets fire acting GM Zach Scott. On the accounts of a DWI that he got back in April, is what it was. So they let him go. On top of that, yeah, let him go. Let him go. Bye bye. And that's pretty much it for right now. But that's what's happening. That's what's going on. Like I said, Braves before set to have their parade this Friday. We'll check it out. And then we got we got some questions for the Astros. Since you guys lost, what's going to happen? Because your free agents is Carlos Correa, Zach Granke, Justin Berlander, Yimmy Garcia, Kendu Graveman, Ryan Presley, Yuri Gurley. Do all your current free, uh, free agents. So let's see what happens. And can y'all sign Correa? If not, who takes over at shortstop? So I'm waiting to see that. But without further ado, we got some more music coming to you on Dragon Sports Live. In case you wanted, let's take a quick sec to let you know what Dragon Sports Live is. Dragon Sports Live is a sports podcast. That not only talks about the sports, but we also play music from local, independent, unsigned artists that's not signed with a major label. That's what we do at Dragon Sports Live. We like to support all of our artists, athletes, and all alike. So, thank you for tuning in to Dragon Sports Live. Without further ado, this is Juzette, a good friend of mine. And she really got some bars. So this is Savage here on Dragon Sports Live. 
and coming up after that, after our music break, we also will be talking NBA. Great start to the Bulls, as well as NFL. Well, really, NFL is next, then NBA, but talk about what's going on. No Aaron Rodgers this upcoming week. So, more to come. But without further ado, this is Dude's Dance. Just hit my account, call up my plug and I finna get high. Call up the homies who ready to ride. Personal Uber, best in the ride. Sipping on Jack, put your bitch on the side. Smoke on trees, I like the green. She got the tears, get in between. Funny as hell, we gotta get real. Hit up the mall, let's spin a meal. Such a song wrong. Your bitch is his bitch, and my bitch too. So what I can't see? So what if I do? Hey, where my gas money at? S-A-V-A-G-E. Savage life is hell. Get your facts together, nigga, before you step to me. Pull your bitch, his bitch, any bitch I please, huh? S A V A G E. Savage life is how I feel when I'm counting green. Get your facts together, nigga, before you step to me. Pull your bitch, his bitch, any bitch I please. Take it savage to a whole nother level. Stack my money, now it's time to get me a medal. I'm the winning nigga, my game is checkmate. My chick hit her with the body and the mind frame. I count no blessings, taking no leeches with me. Check my passport, bitch, I'm official. Dress game is overrated. It's no chick for me, it's just motivation. Came from the bottom to the top, fuck it, get the weight up. My skin is never balanced, but I'm a Libra. Senior year class, nigga, you will buy no freedom. I'm the teacher, I'm the new leader of the Little niggas have your bitch trained, have a working as a triple up in my studio. S A V A G E. Savage life is how I feel when I'm counting green. Get your facts together, nigga, before you step to me. Pull your bitch, his bitch, any bitch I please, huh? S A V A G E. Savage life is how I feel when I'm counting green. Get your facts together, nigga, before you step to me. The name of the awesome one, holy, deserving honor, worthy of all our worship, perfect in him, no problems, ain't no flaws in his character, nothing wrong in his nature, alpha and the omega, controlling winds and the waves and the seas, all things he's created, demons hear him and shudder, amazing and full of wonder, who's like this God, there's no other, lover of broken souls, he's the only one who can boast, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, three in one, yet he's one alone. Self-sufficient existence, not needed to have and lack To purchase people, redeem them, he took a cross on his back The cause of all you could see and the unseen things he made that Anyone who opposes him never can stand a chance The universe and the planets have order and stay intact By the word of his power, that's just a matter of fact Matter of fact, no word of his power, there's no matter of fact Now tell me, how could you not bow and worship a God like that? We will exalt his name, we will exalt his name, we will exalt his name because Messiah reigns, we will exalt his name, we will exalt his name, we will exalt his name, cause he's worthy of praise, we will exalt his name, we will exalt his name, we will exalt his name, he's the ancient of days, we will exalt his name, we will exalt his name, we will exalt his name, cause we've been saved by grace. God has always existed, infinite Yahweh 
different than all the idols of man. He's omnipotent and omniscient. Created time, he's eternal. I'm by the time where he's living. Steps inside of the timeline, getting glory from sinners. Angels bow down before him in heaven. There's a whole chorus that sings his praises forever because the Lord, he is glorious. Stepped in the human history, second one of the trinity. Came through a virgin birth, lived a perfect life, no iniquity. He was stricken, afflicted, whipped for the wicked. The evil religious system sentenced him to crucifixion. Gruesome beaten and hitting, they killed him, spilled all this crimson. Three days later, from out of the tomb, he's resurrected. Has power over the death, but sits at the throne, he's ascended. Rules and reigns from the heavens, nobody can put an end to him. Even when they injured him, only because he let him. Don't waste your time with false idols, because none of them can compare to him. We will exalt his name, we will exalt his name, we will exalt his name, because Messiah reigns, we will exalt his name, we will exalt his name, we will exalt his name, because he's worthy of praise, we will exalt his name, we will exalt his name, we will exalt his name, he's the ancient of days, we will exalt his name, we will exalt his name, we will exalt his name, because we've been saved by praise. He's the only one who is worthy of getting all of the glory, deserving all of our praises, while people bow on before him. Five sons of the nations, all the people he's saving, redeeming evil pagans, his people will sing his praises, elated by what he's done for us, never could do enough, the perfect king who was just from his wrath, he deserved, he rescued us, chose us before creation, in spite of all of our hatred, as the church we give worship to Christ, the awesome savior, spirit renews our nature, regenerates us and shapes us, since takes control of us, molding us into the one who's greater. Son of David who reigns and will never vacate the throne Blameless without a hint of sin in his genetic code High and he's lifted up with the name above every name His people rejoicing in him cause Jesus he took the blame One day we'll be in his presence with no more hurt or pain Worthy of exaltation, Jesus Christ is his name We will exalt his name, we will exalt his name We will exalt his name, because Messiah reigns We will exalt his name we will exalt his name, we will exalt his name, cause he's worthy of praise. We will exalt his name, we will exalt his name, we will exalt his name, he's the ancient of days. We will exalt his name, we will exalt his name, we will exalt his name, cause we've been saved by grace.
Welcome back to another edition of Drug Sports Live. That last song was Audrey's interlude from Audrey Valentine, album called Forbidden Fruit. So, that was a nice way to take like a little intermission. Now we back to the grind, you feel me? So, like I said, Coach Headway Jacob Eastman, and then he was picked up shortly after being, you know, my bad, that was the wrong note. Uh, Packers cornerback, Rizal Douglas, he gets the intercession win to give the Cardinals their first loss, right? But here's the kicker. He was also on the Cardinals practice squad. So he's come up big on that. Packers also lose Robert Tunyon, ACL, and uh, kick retarded Killian Hill to knee injuries. So, and that was all within that Cardinals game, but they also cut Jalen Smith weeks after signing him. So, <laughs> woo, excuse me. It's a wild thing. Like, I feel bad for Jalen Smith because I thought he was going to turn it around, but he didn't. So, he basically signed with a team to not make the cut, basically. Or you're not giving off what what you was giving off before that made them want to sign you. So, or your agent was doing some hell of a good talking. No, no, no. But we shall see. We'll see what happens. And also in that Packers game, Cardinals lost running back Jonathan Ward. So basically, uh, Killing Hill and Jonathan Ward clashed with each other. Both was carted off, but we also had a sighting from D-Hop, DeAndre Hawkins. And according to the coach, he checked himself into the game. To score that play, like he would stretch his leg out, run on the sideline, and then he decided to just check himself in. That play did result in picking up 62 yards, and he, I think he also scored a touchdown in that game as well. But hey, it's all about the health. Like, stay true to your body, listen to your body, listen to, you know, just listen to your body. Basically, foremost, first and foremost. And that's all I got to say about that. But. Big ups, Cardinals get their first loss. Packers get the dub. So their records are now similar. Um, Rams wide receiver Deshaun Jackson has been released following trade deadline. So the trade deadline happened on Tuesday. We had a flurry of trades that kind of had led up to trade deadline. Jackson wanted to be traded, but nobody wanted to pick him up. So they released him after the deadline. The deadline ended at like... 2 o'clock, something like that, Central Standard Time, 3 p.m. Eastern Pacific, something like that. I, when I, It's hard to follow up the times sometimes, but, yeah, they released him, let him go. And then, you know, Seahawks will get back defensive back Darrell Teller. He's expected to play after he had that scary injury a couple weeks back. And... Cowboys offensive tackle Lyell Collins. He doesn't regret the fight they put up to try to get the suspension upheld or appealed. But he ready to come back. He ready to come back and fight. He ready to go. Now his teammate on the other hand, I don't know what's going on through with his teammate. Uh wide receiver C D Lamb fined five different times this season. First was Sox was too low. He was fined five thousand for that. Untucked Jersey, September 27. That was another 5150 And then Untucked the same incident, October 3rd, which is 15450 as well as a crackback, a crackback block, also October 3rd. And that's 10000 So that's 25000 within that one day alone. And then October 17th, Tunting, the Wave. Which is ten thousand three hundred. Now the wave part, 
Ah. Because you wave into the team saying bye-bye. That's also, that's what you might as well say Aaron Rodgers is going to get fined just because he told the person that they own you, that he owns you at the Bears game. The taunting, the wave, I, mm, I, I don't know about that one. I think that's crazy, but it's absurd that you got five, five different times in the same season, two of them in the same day. Like, yeah. CD, you got to work on that. You got to work on that. 49ers defensive tackle Javon Kinlaw, he's done for the season after knee surgery. And then Texas, they're keeping Deshaun Watson. But they trade Mark Ingram to the Saints. Bring it back, the Boom Zoom duo for the Saints. And give it a lot of veteran press since they let go of Latavius Murphy. And they lost their other running backs to injury. So, welcome back with that duo. Let's see how they fare up. Let's see what they do. Saints, on the other hand, do lose James Winston, though. They lose James Winston to uh, ACL tear with MCL damage. So, they do lose Winston. It was more like a horse, I guess you could call it a horse collar grab. His knee kind of like buckled a certain way. And he's done. But they still managed to win that game. And that was against Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So they managed to beat Tom Brady and company. Screw me out some points, but you know. It's all good. Uh, <laughs> but we hope for the best. We hope for a speedy recovery. We'll see who the quarterback would be. Whether it would be Taysom Hill or whoever the backup is. I'll look and see. Because I think it'll be Hill, but if not, it's they got another quarterback. So I'll I'll see. I'll let y'all know what and who that person is. But congratulations to the Saints on the win. But the loss, the condolence, or I should say not condolence, but the sadness and revere for a young man getting hurt in game. So oh, okay. Broncos did, on the other hand, they got rid of their pass rusher, Von Miller. They sent him to the Rams for draft picks. I think they got a third round and sixth round in the 22 draft. Sent him to the Rams. He sent a heartfelt message to the Broncos organization thanking him for all that he's done. But now he's a Ram. And thinking about that combination, if Von Miller still has it, like how he was when he first got to the Broncos. Uh, with Aaron Donald. That's kind of scary. Like, I'm, I'm curious. I want to watch the play. Like, I just want to watch the play because that kind of is, like, legit scary right now. And I'm looking forward to it, so. I will be checking that out. I can't wait till they next game. I will be front and center at my TV. Uh, speaking of trades, we also had Chiefs add Melvin Ingram, the third, four, six round pick to the from the Steelers. So they get him, who Melvin Ingram is also trying to revamp his career, but I think it'll bolster the, the uh, defense for the Chiefs, which is kind of lacking in certain areas. So it will bolster that defense up a little bit. And I'm down for it. So, yeah. Eagles running backs, Miles Sanders, he's, he's placed on IR, and they promote Jordan Howard and Kavon, and also get Kavon Wallace back as well. So Jordan Howard is back still with the team. He's just been on the practice squad. They promote him to the active roster. Tonya Brown was out yet again. Titans also lose Derrick Henry to a foot injury, but sign Adrian Peterson. So let's see how that world's another good, strong running back who's strong, who's power, who still has it in the tank. And uh, just add, who is it? Trey Lance's personal coach, John Beck, to the staff. He'd be like a quarterback coach, development coach. They added him to the staff, and 
hey, more power to him. We do got a few game, good games coming up this weekend far as in football. Football, football. So we got the New or- New England. Wow, I said New Orleans. New England Patriots versus the Carolina Panthers, which both teams are 4-4. Four four. That game is on CBS at 12 Central. Bears versus Pittsburgh for the Monday night game. And then we got New York Jets versus Indianapolis Colts. Colts are two and five this season and struggling. And the Colts are three and five this season. But then we got the five and two Baltimore Ravens taking on Minnesota Vikings at three and four. And then Cincinnati versus Cleveland, round two. And then Denver versus Dallas. L.A. Chargers versus the Philadelphia Eagles. And then New England, I mean, New York Giants versus Las Vegas Raiders. Green Bay versus Kansas City. And Arizona versus San, San Francisco. With the night ending with Tennessee versus the Rams. So, let's see what happens. Um, We did have a situation where... Henry Ruggs the third was driving 140, 56 miles per hour seconds before a fatal crash. And he's facing charges. It was also released by the Raiders right now. So he's facing the DWI in the result of death, which that can go up to two years to a maximum of 20 years in prison. So he's facing that charge right now. I forgot to mention, Texans will get Tyrod Taylor back. And I don't know what's going on with the Browns because, like, the Browns excuse OBJ from practice yet again. But I find it funny. This is literally after your pop posts this video of you being wide open and not getting the ball when you're wide open. So it is what it is. And... Hmm. Yeah. Hope for the best. We do got some more music coming up here on Dragon Sports Live. We got Strange Neighbors with Society here on Dragon Sports Live. Be sure to check out all music and this podcast. You can check it out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, as far as my podcast. But go to iTunes or Spotify for the music of these artists. Check them out. But this is... Strange neighbors, society, go to drugs.
heavy thing trying to knock you down. If you can pick your head up, clap with me in your center. Sing with me if you're fed up. Tell the devil me nothing's been done. Lace your boots up, stand tall. Put the armor of God on. Soldier up and stay strong. Heads up, we marching on. Lace your boots. forward we marching on taking a stand against the wrong racism repeating constantly like a cyclone no freedom or justice just surveillance is the sky drones yelling at deaf ears they will never hear our songs won't stop the message just increase the pressure i plead the blood of christ running through my vessels they test us and y'all know they will never accept us but the armor of god keeps us protected Welcome back to the new edition of Dragon Sports Live. If you just tuned in, I am Dante Payne, and you're listening to Dragon Sports Live, the show that gives you sports and music. We combine both into one. That last song you just heard was Marching, Black Heaven. And what a good way to transition into marching, where we just marching right into NBA season. The Bulls have been looking good. Undefeated in preseason. Right now, they're 6-2. and two, And they sitting at the top of the standings. On top of that, they didn't play some good teams like the Knicks. They lost to the Knicks by one point. Came back and beat the Celtics. That score was 114-128. And they also their best start since the 96-97 Bulls. So, like I said, they're looking good. They're looking great. I like what I see from them. I enjoy, like, the new found addition. So, the only, if you really think about the whole Bulls roster, the only people that's still there is basically Kobe White, Patrick Williams, Zach Levine. Everybody else is brand new. Brand new. So, congrats on the Bulls on that. They're off today, but their next game is coming up real soon. Actually, if they don't play today, they'll, they'll play tomorrow. Now, I'm not sure if that's a home game, but right now, we're sitting third in the Eastern Conference standings right now. Third. Not eight, third. So I I was liking that. Oh my bad. Bulls next game will be Saturday against the <laughs> seventy six is who they lost to. That's who gave them their second loss. By the way, that game will be Saturday at seven p.m. Central Time. So. I'm looking forward to that. Houston and OKC and Detroit are 
all struggling. Detroit was 0-5 before they got their first win. And Houston's, but Houston, Detroit, OKC are all 1-6 right now and sit at the bottom of the sleep hole. Like I said, the season just started. We're eight games in for some teams, seven for most, but you got the Rockets, Thunder, and Pelicans. Pelicans off 1A start. Still got no Zion yet, but he's looking well and will be back on the court soon. Um, OKC just been struggling. Um, they just been struggling as far as away games. Like, they're on for away, one and two at home. So, they've been struggling on the road. While, on the other hand, go to state, my other team, it's 3-0 at away, but we're 3-1 at home. And I've been looking forward to it. Looking forward to the season starting. I'm looking forward, like what, like I said, what I've been seeing thus far. Pretty good season. A lot of people are still adjusting to the natural shot um, call. So, like, especially, like, the likes of James Harden, he's been struggling because he's always good at drawing fouls. But ain't no more flopping. And if it's not a natural shot, you're not going to get that call. And, you know. It flares out, so like, it it does cause a flare up. So like with the Nets against the Heat. Now the Nets lost to the Heat one hundred six to ninety three. Harden was four of twelve with fourteen points, seven rebounds, six assists. Yeah, seven rebounds and seven assists. And Kevin Durant was fine for throwing the ball in, in the stands, twenty five thousand. Same thing with Trey Young, fine. For throwing the ball. What Trey Young was fine for contact with the ref, and he was fine two thousand. Me, uh fifteen thousand, not two thousand, fifteen thousand. So with these refs, the refs ain't playing no games with y'all, but with this natural shot thing, Curry tried it, you know, try to shoot an awkward jump shot and get and draw the foul, but they not having it this year, so it's forced you to play Real basketball, and I can't. I really like it. To be honest, I really like like this song because it's forcing me to play real basketball. It's forcing you. You gonna take the contact. You gonna get fouled for real to get the foul. So keep doing what y'all doing. I like it. I, I I truly do like it. So I like. So I I'm gonna keep moving on. Um. Ex-WNBA player Elena Beer is hoping to get a team in Oakland. The Atlanta Drink continues to rebuild and add ex-executive Dan Panover as GM and Darius Taylor as assistant GM. They also added Tanisha White as head coach. Sue Bird is tempting because she was there when the Kraken, when they released the Kraken. At the uh, expansion team for Seattle's hockey debut. So, at least the crack she was there. And she was tempted by the new arena to play for the Storm again. Like, she wanted to be able to play in that new arena. So, she's con- still contemplating retirement. So, is Diane Taurasi. Nobody, she hasn't said anything about that. She may have a damn vet, a vendetta with that. But we'll see what happens when that time comes. But right now, neither one of them. One is contemplating and one has said anything about it because I guess they're not really thinking about it. Warriors Mike will get James with James Wiseman back. He's clear for 14 practice. And Kevin Love and Lori Marketing in health safety protocols. So they won't be with the team right now at the moment. Love is out indefinitely. And we'll see. Kay Cunningham did make his debut. He only scored two points, one of nine shooting in 18 minutes, and that's a few scores since Anthony Bennett, who was one of eight with that 12% mark. So let's see. Hopefully this season, like I said, he had a sprained ankle, and I want to see him fair out. I want to see what he's going to do. 
and what's going on. Chris Paul passes Jackson and Nash for number three all time in assists. And then Ben Simmons is refusing mental help for us, the 76ers. And he just said, I'm not crazy. I just want to be traded. I don't want to be with the thing. So we'll see. Next game is Boston versus Miami. 76ers take on Detroit, and then Utah versus ATL. Houston versus Phoenix. OKC versus LA Lakers. And rock with me next week as we tune in to another edition of Dragon Sports Live. I'm Dante Payne, and I'm signed out. I'll catch you guys on the next show. But be sure to subscribe to my YouTube at D-O-N-P-E-1. It's going to be on the screen right here. So it's going to be on the screen. Make sure you subscribe. On top of that, make sure you follow and subscribe to Dragon Jump Pro, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeart. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. You name it. Just be sure to follow me. But on that note, I will see you guys on the next show. Peace out. This is Dante signing off for Dragon Sports Live.